Welcome back to our mother popcorn. Stephanie, Edith, yeah. Desiree, Jesse's back there in the back. Somewhere. We did come to see Black Widow. This is one that's in theaters and also available on Disney Plus for that premium $30. So um, before we officially do get started with the review, I do want to say that when it comes to like these comic book, you know, Marvel, DC movies, I've said it many, many times, you know, I'm not like a hardcore, we're not really like hardcore like fans. We go, we watch the movies, we enjoy them, but we don't really know like the ins and outs. I'm not like, oh my God there's another Marvel movie because I know a lot of the Marvel people right now are very like excited because this is the longest they've had to wait for a Marvel movie two years because of course the pandemic this was one of the first movies that's what that was a pushback because we are in the cars afterward and um, you're gonna hear the air because it's hot and apparently the AC is not is it's not working very well also this is supposed to be taking place after Captain America Civil War I believe it is and then like before one of the Avenger movies. Do you know which Avenger movie it is? Um, I don't know, one of the Avenger Infinity movies. War? Infinity War? I, I, I think it's Infinity War. And what did you think about it? I liked it. I liked how it showed right after, kind of after uh, Captain America Civil War. Um, Wait, hold on. I don't think that's the one I've seen, right? That's the third, is that the third? Captain America movie? I think you've seen it, the one where he's fighting with, with, with Tony. I've seen parts of it. I'm not gonna rank any of the MCU. Y'all know I've been kind of on a roll ranking these uh, franchises. I haven't seen all of the MCU movies. Like, I just literally saw the first two Captain America movies. I've seen part of, I'm assuming, Civil War. I see maybe one and a half of Iron Man. I thought Iron Man was so freaking boring by himself and I refused to see the last one or finish watching the second one. And I have not seen any of the Ant-Man movies. I think that's it. Okay, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I've seen you see, you she's seen them all. <laughs> I didn't see all the Iron Man movies. So They're so boring. Yeah, I didn't like those. But I've seen all the other ones. having the backstory to to Natasha uh, I like the the surprise ending on that uh, that extra in credits yeah extra scene stay, stay for stay for it it's worth yeah. it we do jump into present time so uh, I was like <gasps> we're not doing spoilers right so don't say no okay <laughs> I was like what no that's not right. So I'm jumping on here to give you my take on Black Widow just because I did end up putting the windows down uh, right before I started talking and it, the camera just picked up all that wind. I don't have a mic so it just it sounded absolutely terrible and there was times when the wind really really picked up. It actually ends up working out because I did forget to mention a lot of things in my after the theater deal because it, I was just trying to hurry up with that particular video because it was so hot. So one of the biggest things about this particular movie seeing that it does technically fall within well I guess what is it four years five years ago after Civil War I think that's what we had talked about before Infinity War so this is technically we're getting it over here after in-game pretty sure it's after in-game but you have to just kind of like pick it up and like just move it and put it over here where it belongs so because we know that she died over here in in-game and this does technically take place like five years ago when certain situations of danger immediate danger things that could possibly actually kill her even though at one particular point I went oh my god she's gonna die it was like a split like kind of dick I'm like girl no she don't die she's gonna die later on like this is not her time she might have been kissed by death over here but she gonna she gonna get all death over there so that's one of the biggest issues with the movie I guess generally is that they do put her in like these death defying moments not really like death def well yeah i mean there's things that happen that other people might have died especially her he, she's human she doesn't have superpowers her superpower is like her body her body is her weapon because she's an assassin that's really generally my only real dislike actually the task master Am I saying that right? I think that's how you say it. I was expecting more. Like I said also in the beginning, I don't know the ins and outs if all these characters or the villains or who they are, what they do with this, blah, blah, blah. Well, so when I saw the preview, you know, I assumed this villain was going to be doing more than what we got in 
the movie. And then when I had seen some trailer review, they were super excited because of this particular character that was going to be involved in the movie. And I was like, oh, okay, so we're about to get like some real like awesome cool things. I don't know what the hell this villain does because I never know what any of these villains do going into these movies. I was just like, oh, that's that's it. But other than those two things, um, generally I did enjoy the movie overall because it is more so like a spy movie. I mean, uh, Black Widow or The Widows because, you know, it's not just her. There are other ones. Um, they're spies. They're assassins. They're, they were taken as kids. And Oh, actually, the opening credit, we do get like a semi like little origin story of her being taken or her had already had some training you know with her sister and just things that happen um so there's like a bit of like i guess like human trafficking uh child kidnapping kind of deal happening there at the beginning that opening sequence was really 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 cool uh we get a tiny tiny little bit of you know what happens there but i kind of wish we would have had a little bit more of the red room a little bit more of her training and also the two young actresses who play natasha and yelena they did absolutely wonderful uh young natasha i kept looking at her and i'm like you look very familiar where have i seen you from so it's a good thing that i'm actually doing this review now instead of right after the theater experience i i didn't look it up then i haven't actually seen her anything else but she's because she looks exactly like her mom, um, Mila Jovanich, who you probably know more from um, playing Alice in Resident Evil. But Black Widow does have a different tone and feel to it compared to like the other solo movies or Avenger movies. Because in the other ones, you know, we are dealing with like bigger threats and bigger things. So this is more of a personal vendetta, uh, revenge type of situation here. Everybody just absolutely did uh, wonderful. Uh, we have Rachel Wise, we have David Harbour, um, and then the wonderful, wonderful Florence Pugh. I absolutely love her. Amazing actress. I just cannot wait to see more of her in this particular row. Just because there is an end credit scene, definitely stay uh, for the end. It's it's good. It's, it's a real good setup to what to come or could come also like any marvel movie or show we do have to have some sort of comedy you know kind of like sprinkled in there and i was here for it i thought it was really funny i think everybody did wonderful again florence Pugh. there's just things that she does whether it's her best with all the pockets yes i knew it was cool too she makes fun of uh, <laughs> natasha with her posing that was really fun about her being a poser david harper also really really funny i wish we got uh, i wish we could have had a little bit more of Rachel Weisz in it but it's okay I enjoyed the little bit that we had of her those are some of my thoughts um I'm glad I got to say more here because I totally didn't say as much as I said here over there because again it was hot in the car so we're gonna uh, quickly put you back to the original clip so you can hear everybody's scores and then we'll come back over here to officially close it off because it is very very windy so just don't mind the wind you're probably gonna mind it but just don't mind what are you ranking it medium <laughs> We're going with this canvas again. <laughs> and I'm going medium popcorn as well. So if you've seen Black Widow, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Where would you rank this movie within the MCU universe? And who generally is your favorite Marvel superhero? Obviously, I do love me some Spider-Man. Doctor Strange will probably come in second. We did have this conversation also with my sister. <laughs> Oh, that's right, you love Captain America. That, that, that's exactly the two I was thinking, but I was thinking of Marie Spider Man. When I got home, I almost wanted to buy it or well, to rent it, and then my mom can watch it too, and I can like kind of rewatch it because. Jesse was giving me issues there at the beginning of the movie. Um, so I couldn't like fully enjoy. They didn't have my full attention because I kept trying to like hush them down. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys in concessions.